Good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, very good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm also fine. Thanks for asking. My name is Ushnisha. Could you introduce yourself to me since we are meeting for the first time? Yes. My name is Sanjika. I'm seven years old. I'm studying in third standard and my hobbies are to play Rubik's and solve puzzles. And I like to ride a cycle. Yes. And I like to read storybooks. Storybooks? What sort of storybooks do you like? I like bedtime storybooks and model stories. Yes. And okay. comics also. I like comics also. It's comics. Google comic and when pick a comic. Okay. So where are you from, Tanishka? I'm from Maharashtra and this is Pune. Pune City. Pune. Now, I have never been to Pune or Maharashtra. I'm from Kolkata. So, if I were to come to your house and uh, stay there for three to four days, would you take me out to roam the city? Yes. Okay. So, where would you take me? What are some attractions of Pune or Maharashtra? In Pune, when we go to a zoo, Katra Zoo, the science park also, we will go science park. There are so many experiments. Yes. Okay. And what if I have to go for shopping there? Are there places for shopping as well? Not malls, like local markets. Yes, there are uh, uh, so many shops you can buy. And what about the food? In Kolkata, if you come, I'll make you eat fuchka, which is pani puri or golgappe in your state. Uh, we'll also go for samosa, chaat. So what do I get in Mumbai or Pune? In Pune, you will get a, a vada pav, pizza, burgers, and water bowl. Okay. Very nice. All right. So today, we are going to talk about one of your most favorite movies or books that you have read. Can you talk about it? My favorite books are like bedtime and moral stories books, or uh, stories and comics. And I watch a movies uh, for George, Wednesday. Yes, the same okay. movies. Can you talk about a story which has a good moral to it? Can you tell me a story? I will tell you a story. Uh, my story name was, my story name hmm. is, yes, what you say? My story's name is? My story's name is The Little Boy. The Little okay. Boy like uh, that jaggery. He always eat. He don't eat vegetables. So he just uh, like, he don't eat anything vegetables that get vitamins. His mother always said, eat vegetables, eat jaggery also, but only sometimes. You have to eat both. So he just said, no, I will only eat jaggery. So, so that so his mother picked on one man. Uh, so that so the, his mother, the little boy, boy's mother, tried to tell all the things what he do. So his man said, the, that man said, you have to just eat vegetables and just eat also jaggery. So he, the little boy said, no, I will no, don't eat vegetables. So that man said, you know that you will not get vitamins. You will be a weak. So he said, oh, okay, I will eat. So that time he start to eat vegetables. So that time he don't eat jaggery. Means he eat jaggery but little bit. Now we eat two vegetables. My moral of my story is we have to eat only one thing, so we will eat also another thing. This moral I like very much. Very good. Okay, so well presented. Now let me tell you where it could have been better or what errors you have made. Are you interested to know that? Yes. Now, whenever we are talking about a singular pronoun, like he, she, these are single pronouns, right? He is one person, 
she is one person right now whenever we speak about singular pronouns we will always bring does after it not do so he doesn't eat vegetables not he don't eat vegetables okay have you understood it now if i give you a few exercise would you be able to do it yes okay she blank to school every day and your verb is go how shall i use it in the blank mm. uh can you repeat please yes so there's a sentence she blank to school every day in the blank what should i put if i give you options will you be able to tell me yes go goes going she goes very good okay let me ask you another the same question in another way my friend likes chocolate can you change it into an interrogative sentence mm my friends get chocolates my friend likes chocolate how shall i make a question out of it from this uh, statement oh we will like um and... so i'll do one for you and then you can do the rest okay so yes. my friend likes chocolate does my friend like chocolate see i made yes. it a question now again i'll give you another sentence and you will have to make it into interrogative okay ram walks in the park every day ram walks in the park every day how shall i make it into a question it does ram like to walk in the park very good so whenever there is singular pronoun or singular noun we will always bring does after it and not do okay okay is it clear yes now moving on i'm going to show you some pictures Okay. Can you see it? Yes, I can see. Okay. Can you tell me what is the first weather condition called? it's the spellings are not seeing like clear but teachers are okay wait now can you see it no but i will think it will be sunlight yes so this this number 1 is sunny right yes. sunny weather okay what sunny. about the next one this one it's a um, badminton no this is a girl and her umbrella is flying away so when does no. that happen when it is it's very yeah yeah so windy yes okay windy. windy all right what about this when it rains mm it rains rainy rainy, rainy. rainy. very good what about this one cloudy with thunder so what should what should we call it the weather the thunder stormy stormy weather when there is rain also thunder and lightning with it so we call it a stormy weather okay stormy weather yes stormy weather now let's see the others what about this one i can't see actually unfortunately there is no screen sharing option oh it's a cloudy maybe yes it's actually ice yes no it's maybe snowy snowy good next mm lightning 
Lightning. Next. Uh, foggy. No. Hailing. These are hail balls. Yeah. Have you seen hail? No. Sometimes when it rains, we get small balls of ice. Yes. Have you that seen that? That's called hail. Yes. Hailing. Hail. What about yes? What about this? It's a stormy. No. Cold. Cold. Yes. So. Cloudy. What about this? A uh, foggy. Yes. What about this? Rainbow. What about this? Hot. Hot. So, if I ask you, when there is very, when there is ice balls with rain, what do we call it? Uh, hailing. Hail. H-A-I-L. Okay. Yeah. Hailing. And hailing. And when there is thunder and lightning with rain, what is that weather called? Stormy. Very good. And if there is layer of smoke then what is called the weather foggy okay and if you are walking in the road and your umbrella is flying away what is it called the weather mm, windy windy very good so you have understood the weather conditions now let's see yeah. what else we have let's see these emotions what is the first emotion? You have to match the following, okay? First emotion is happy. No, like this is given half as early. You would have to look at the this faces and tell me what they look like from this box. Oh, I can't see properly. Can you just forward? Now? No. Yes, yes. Now is fine? Yes, it's a shop. First is shop. Then? Then it's sad. No Are you angry. sure? No, angry. Then? Sad. No, no. Scared. Yes. Then? Uh, then it's maybe sad. Yes. It's happy. Yes. Angry. No. Scared. Look carefully. What is this boy doing? Sleepy. Yawning. And when do we yawn? When we are sleeping. So again, from the beginning, we'll tell what is this emotion? Shocked. This? Scared. No. no. It's, it's, it's angry. Then? Sad. No. Mm, shocked. Shocked is this one. This is angry. This is? Uh, scary. Yes. Mm, sad. Then. Happy. Then. Sleepy. Very good. Okay. We'll see other pictures now. It's very fun. Yes. I know it is. All right. Now we are going to do the names of fruits. Okay. Okay. From the beginning. Yes. Can you see? Yes, I can see the pictures, but not that words. Okay, wait. Now is it fine? Yes. First is apple. Okay. Second is grape. Okay. Third is orange. Okay. Fourth is cherry. Okay. First, uh, that. Fifth is avocado. Good. Sixth is blackberry. 
Very good. Now let's see the others. Watermelon. Yes. Strawberry. Pineapple. Yes. Um, coconut. Mm -hmm. Papaya. Very good. Um, pear. Yes. What is that one? That purple. The next one. You tell me from the options. I can't see the spellings. That's why. No. Plump. Yes. Then. Kiwi. Yes. Mango. Okay. Banana. Yes. And the last one is melon. Melon. Right? So, we have got all of them correct. So, I can't give you reactions also here. Anyway, I'll clap for you. Okay? Thank you, ma'am. All right. Now, moving on, you are going to tell me about your family for two minutes without taking much time to think. Okay? Okay. There are four members in my family. My mother, my father, my sister and me. My mother is my mother makes my videos. My father is electrician. My sister is studying in the school. And me, I'm also studying in the school. I'm seven years old. My sister is 13 years old. And she's seventh standard. I am in third standard. Yes. Okay. And do you like to go out during weekends when these are usually days off for your father? So do you go out? Yes, I go to outside. Okay, so what plans do you have for this weekend? Have you thought about anything what you're going to do this weekend? No. No plans? So do you like to do art and craft? Art and craft work? Yes, I like to do art and craft. What have you made so far? In art and craft, I like to make aeroplane boards. Yes, aeroplane boards, a trap. Oh, fish. Not fish. fish. Can you tell me how you prepare a fish? No, not fish. That we call, yes, balloon, balloon. Balloon? balloon. Yes. And like flag. Okay. Can you talk about the preparation technique of at least one of these art and craft objects? Art and craft, you have to take a craft and a scissor, paper, a paper, paper. Then a piece will... of paper. Yes. Yes. And then we have to just fold here and there. Fold like this. Then we have to just open like this. Yes, like this. I make... so instead of saying like this, we can say it in other way. So we can say you have to fold inwards and then you have to fold upwards. These are called directions, right? Yes. Inwards, then we go upwards, sidewards. So these, this is the way to say directions, not like this. If you say like this, like this, the person who's listening won't understand, right? So you have to say inwards, upwards, like that. You're going to discuss, okay? When you are talking about any art and craft or anything that you are telling the technique of how you should make it. Okay. Yes. So did you like the session? Yes, I like the session. All right. Now we have four more minutes to go. Let me give you my feedback and then we'll get to the other activities. Now, Tanishka, I think that you are a very cheerful and jolly girl, which is a very good quality to have in a speaker. Right. But uh, there are certain issues with vocabulary and grammar. So we have to take care of that. When we don't know something, we have to learn about those things. How to make it correct. Right. So today, what have we learned? That whenever we have he or she, what do we bring after it? Mm, we have to bring the... So he dash ice cream. Like or likes? He likes. Okay. She dash her homework every day. Does or do? Does. Good. So you will remember, 
right? You are a good girl. Yes. All right. Now, in the last three minutes, I'll ask you to tell me a story. But after seeing this. Can you see this? Yes, I can see there is a house. You don't just see it for now and then we'll talk about it. Just observe the picture. I want to tell a story or describe a bird. Yes, so see the picture first and then we'll get to the story. Have you seen all the characters? Yes. Shall I take it off? Only one minute. Okay. Yes. Done. Okay. Tell me what have you seen? What story can you tell me? I want to tell a story or a describe about that picture. Okay. Tell me your story. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a, uh, there was a, once upon a time on the road, one car was there. The mud was there. The rain comes after the car comes and the mud, mud was slashed on everyone. And one girl was there. On her hand, there is an umbrella and one dog was there. He was barking to that umbrella girl and from the, from the one house, the one boy was seen from the window. Yes, and one man is going from back. Yes, and there are two big flats. One flat is... Uh, there are two flags. The rain comes. Yes. Good. Now, remember how you struggled to say splashed? The mud splashed on the people. Okay. Splashed. S-P-L-A-S-A-G-D. Now, whenever you're using barking, it's not barking to or barking on. Barking at. Barking at. Okay. The dogs were barking at the girl or the boy whoever was there okay so okay. you will find more pictures like this and frame stories until we meet again okay okay all right you. it's lovely talking to you tanishka i hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead take care of yourself i enjoyed a lot thank you bye bye ma'am catch you later yes <laughs>